Okay, well, uh, my company recently rebranded to Global Cloud Exchange. Uh, it, was, it was previously Reliance Globalcom. The ownership uh, is still 100% uh, a Reliance company, but I think it, it sets a change in direction for the company. Uh, we still have the global infrastructure that we always had. Uh, we have a very extensive uh, list of cable systems worldwide. We have uh, extensive layer one type services. We also have layer two and layer three. And I think it's in layer two and layer three where we will expand and uh, enlarge our product portfolio. Uh, and that includes connectivity into additional uh, and, uh, and more managed style data center facilities. And of course, on top of that, to be able to host uh, our customers and, and those of us who are, we, we will uh, work with as partners to provide these types of cloud services. Some of it we will do in-house, some of it we'll do through partners. Uh, we already uh, have a, a large list of, uh, of enterprise customers, including, including Global 500. So we, we intend to expand our services to that uh, particular uh, group as well as our wholesale customers, so that, that doesn't change. So I think you can see from us in the future some expansion uh, into new markets, particularly developing markets. Uh, you can see expansion of our products. You can, ex you can see addition of, uh, of, of uh, data centers, where, uh, particularly in high population and high commerce centers worldwide where we already are, but we'll expand that capability. And of course, we're extremely strong in terms of delivering service into India uh, through, through our parent, Arcom. So I think that is the direction that we're heading. You'll see us uh, making announcements on, on augments to our system, on expansion into new markets, on development of new points of presence, new products, and of course, uh, we'll be celebrating new customers as we bring them on board. Well, I think the first thing to do is to look at uh, the context of the industry right now. And there are four very important major drivers within the industry. One is social media, and we're very familiar with uh, social, uh, social media engines which exist already, the Facebooks, uh, these types of, uh, of mechanisms. On top of that, there's mobility, so we're all very familiar with uh, smartphones, with tablets, and so on. That's a huge, uh, a huge moving force within the industry right now. Thirdly, big data. So important for companies these days to be able to store their data securely and to mine that data, or data analytics, I think, is the, is the, proper, uh, the proper term to use. So that's a very important aspect. And finally, cloud services. And those four together are the major movers, I think, for the next couple of years. So in terms of how you address those particular areas, I think the, in terms of cloud services, which is where we will concentrate in the coming years, it's important for us to make sure that we can deliver the type of service to the, the customers who are uh, first of all, those who are going to develop cloud services and certainly those who are users of cloud services. So if you divide down the, the cloud service platform into three layers, there's infrastructure as a service, which is very much where we're concentrating. There's platform as a service and there's software as a service. So I think the most important thing in terms of the infrastructure as a service is to ensure that companies like us, A, have the ubiquity, in other words, that we present ourselves in the major data centers worldwide. So that's very important for us. It's also important that the economics of our platform, of our hardware and our infrastructure is, is very, very competitive. Uh, thirdly, I, I think it's important that the quality of our services are absolutely compatible with the type of cloud services that people are, are wanting to establish. And finally, security is a, is a very big issue uh, because uh, I, I believe that, that one of the things that uh, is 
very focal for companies at the moment is security of their data. So if you look at the way companies address this cloud services market currently, a lot of, a lot of the existing uh, enterprises have their own existing infrastructure right now and they have their legacy systems. It is unrealistic to expect that they will write off those systems in the near future. So really what we're looking at here is a hybrid type of structure for enterprises where they continue to use their existing infrastructure, their existing systems, and they augment that with use of private cloud services or even public cloud services. So I think that's sort of a, a summary of, of where the industry sits right now.